on Daybreak, we're looking into some of the myths that moms to be hear during pregnancy. Like, does a pregnancy really last nine months, or are the early elective deliveries safe? Those are just a couple of the questions that Nina Griscolo, our own resident pregnant woman, <laughs> to experts. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. Being pregnant, I hear a lot about these things, either from advice from others, or maybe questions from curious moms to be. So we wanted to get down to the truth of the matter, starting with early scheduled deliveries. According to data gathered in 2014, about eight percent of mothers in Indiana will choose to deliver their babies before 39 weeks gestation, either through induction or a C-section. That number skyrockets if you include mothers who choose to deliver between 39 weeks and their due date, which is at 40 weeks gestation. Delivering before your due date is sometimes necessary because of health complications with the baby or mother, but experts say choosing to deliver before natural labor can come with some serious side effects. There's an increased risk of morbidity and mortality, um, and that's actually a health risk to the infant. For any infant that's born prior to 39 weeks gestation, a preterm delivery is actually any delivery that's prior to 38 weeks um, and can actually cause health problems. Babies born before 39 weeks are more likely than full-term babies to have trouble sucking, swallowing, or staying awake long enough to eat develop serious infections, have breathing problems, and have vision or hearing problems. So while we may be uncomfortable toward the end, doctors say it's really best to keep the bun in the oven <laughs> up until about 41 or even 42 weeks. Then there's some other health factors that come into play if you go into a post-term pregnancy. Since you've been so kind to be so open about this with your own pregnancy, do the math <laughs> for us. Where do you stand right now? What Weeks, months, how yes. it all figures out? So I'm 29 weeks right now, okay. and a lot of people tend to say, okay, so you're six or seven months pregnant but it really is better to use the weeks to follow along during your pregnancy and some people have said 40 weeks means well we're actually pregnant 10 months <laughs> that's not true either so I went down and broke down the numbers for you so nine months ends up being about 274 days <laughs> 40 weeks is 280 days first two weeks of pregnancy though are actually the follicular phase of your menstrual cycle which is before you conceive the baby right. so you're not even pregnant those first two of the 40 weeks, so you end up being pregnant about eight and a half, nine months. So when somebody <laughs> says uh, six or seven months, do you tell them all this or do you just go, yes, thank you? Uh, it depends. It depends on how curious people are. So sometimes people will say, well, 40 weeks, you're actually pregnant 10 months. You know, I think women really want to kind of play the cards sometimes, and it's like, no, no. It's, it's it only not feels that like long. a year and a half, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we're getting there, 29 weeks. Thanks, Nina. Yep.